zone means that your psychological state is in a certain place which allows you to allocate risk appropriately, recognize what the market is telling you, and essentially allowing you to adapt accordingly. Now, although that may sound subjective, there is a general consensus of what this means. Now, trading in the zone is clearly a state of mind, and we should all attain to reach a certain space in our Forex journey that allows us to reach, like I said, this Kaizen space, this space of Zen, where you can trade effortlessly and systematically without the actual psychological pressures that essentially cause you to make mistakes or, you know, take you off your path. Now, this will come with experience a solid understanding of what trading uh, with the, trading with your particular edge and essentially understanding risk proper uh, you know properly now of course you're probably wondering how does this work it sounds good in theory i'm going to show you a clear example of what trading in the zone uh, looks like now Here's a Dow Jones US 30. We saw a clear sell off at the start of the year, uh, which was quite shocking to many people. Now, like I keep saying in all these videos, we anticipated a global recession in 2020. Now, of course, we didn't predict Corona. That was, you know, a shock to everyone, really. But we understand that that was simply the catalyst and not the cause of what's to be one of the biggest market sell-off in our lifetime now as you can see we saw a clear sell-off we did catch a lot of this move we actually caught over 2,000 pips in less than four days risking 50 pips right which is absolutely incredible but this is what trading in the zone now means right it's not getting sucked in to the into the moment so for example this is the level in which many, many traders would have looked to start selling. Now, even if you were to sell at this level, you know, typically you would want to wait for a pullback uh, to this, which is now obviously a support, which would at the time would have been a resistance level to sell anyway, right? But let's say you did sell, um, I don't know, at this point, you, you should be up a good a few thousand pips. But what trading in the zone means is, by this point, you should have been trailing. But if you did get taken out and priced it close above this uh, resistance level, which is now, of course, a support and pulled back, it's understanding that this trade is now over. We, uh, we are at least going to see a further pullback. Now, that doesn't mean you now predict, you know, the retrace that we saw right, which is price almost hitting all time highs again, that doesn't mean that you predict that and spot that. It means you're reacting and adapting to that, that change in market sentiment, right? So even if you did, um, you know, look to, I don't know, sell at this level, at least have a tight stop loss and understand that we will at least see a pullback. And if that pullback was to this um, resistance level and you look for another selling opportunity, that's fair enough. But by this point, you're looking for a further retrace. And this is then changing your, your trading style and looking for the buying opportunity. Even though the macro macro data is telling you, uh, you know, is a, is a sell off. We have to put things into perspective and also pay attention to the micro uh, fundamental and technical data. So at this point, we're looking for buying opportunities. Now, we caught buying opportunities on this. Right. And, and again, very, very profitable. Right. And, and that's what it's about. It's about staying in this zone where you can quickly adapt to change. You can, you know, measure out the risk to reward and, and place great trading opportunities based on this. It's a very systematic approach uh, to your trading journey. Now, here again, we see the same thing. We see price sell off. But of course, Price did in fact pull back, and then obviously we see price uh, pull back into the support level. This is all technical, right? So this is not we're not even throwing in um, you know some of the deeper fundamental aspects. We're just looking at this from a technical standpoint. Now, to sell this, you should be able to say to yourself, price must at least close 
below this zone, right? Close below this key structure level for me to start selling again, right? Of course, price didn't do that. And what happened? Price then, as you can see, we had the anticipation of a long opportunity. Now, we did think that we were heading for all time highs at this point. As you can see, price had actually hit the structure level. But again, we adapted to change. I made a video saying we are likely to see a heavy sell off now, right? And you can go back. I'll actually post this, repost this video on my story. And I said, once price hit this, hits this key structure level again, which is this level, we are likely going to see a heavy sell off. Now, that doesn't mean that the market is going to completely crash and, you know, and reach all time lows again. I mean, to back to um, March lows. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that we can at least catch a few thousand pips before there is any upside momentum again, which price could easily again smash against the structure level and then push for all time highs. But we quickly adapt to change, right? We know that the macro fundamental data is looking worse and worse by the day. So now we've got shorts on the indice market. We just put in another short on Germany 30 uh, a few hours ago, which is doing extremely well. And again, that's what it's about. It's really about adapting to the market scenario, right? And not really being sucked in to the noise, um, whether that is sh short term fundamental, whether that's short term technicals. But it's just about, again, you're focusing on the two things that matter mental growth and profitability. The two things that should be on your priority list as a trader. If you can focus on those two things, you will naturally uh, get yourself in a state in a state of mind which allows you to obviously achieve and attain those two things. Now, with that being said, we're going to be launching our trading in the zone Discord group tonight at 7 p.m. Um, that is going to be incredible. That test group is going to be incredible. We've got a stop watch list. We've got a Kaizen strategy group. We've got our war room. You know, we've got our uh, what, what else do we have in there? Kaizen strategy, war room, trading in zone, stock watch list. Uh, uh, and those are those are the main things that we have. And obviously the Kaizen strategy uh, group as well. But this is going to be super exciting. We're heading into, you know, th this moment we've been waiting on since 2013. Guys, I don't think you realize we are going to be in one of the most liquid highly liquid and most profitable if you know what you're doing you know you know this is going to be a golden era this is the time to be in the market if you're not a part of our forex group send me a message if you're not part of our indice group send me a message if you're completely new and you want to start learning send me a message this is it now guys you know this you want to be in the market at the moment so send me a message i'll speak to you in speak to you all soon and don't forget to trade in the zone.